what's going on everybody and welcome to a brand new trade breakdown video on this channel now, i know it's been some time but the summer months have kind of been killing me uh let's just say i haven't been losing money but i also haven't been making any money i'm kind of just been at that break even stage uh it's slower times where nothing is really following to plan in terms of the market and then i fell into kind of a rut where for about a week or two i was uh red and basically throwing all of my trading intuitions out the window, my trading plan and trading rules. But I'm back on it, I'm back on track. I've made some tweaks and I've kind of understood what's going on. So you know what, it happens. You're never gonna be perfect. You're never gonna be a 100% trader and you have to understand that you're gonna have losing weeks. And so I kind of forgot about that during those losing weeks. And so I kind of uh, came back to reality and I'm uh, grounded now to be able to come into the markets with um, uh, a clear headspace. All right, so with this trade breakdown, uh, I started taking, I started trading futures. I don't know, futures just to me seems uh, like a bit better right now than Forex in the summer months. And so for my watch list, I trade the NASDAQ, the gold, the Dow, and I have the micro NASDAQ on there because sometimes NASDAQ uh, one contract size could be a lot depending on how big your stop loss is. If your stop loss is big, then with even just a one contract position, you could lose 2% of your account balance, which I'm currently taking a trade with Tradeovate. Uh, I mean, a challenge with top steps. So uh, you can't exceed a, a 1%, 1 no 2% loss within a day, then they will close down your account. You won't breach the uh, you know challenge, but they'll just close it for that trading day And so I trade the micro Nasdaq just so I can take just so I can have my proper risk management and set So I came on the charts around 840 this morning and I was looking through my watch list um, Euro USDs the only Forex pair I trade and I trade that on my personal account. Uh, I don't trade anything else I'm still trying to grow my personal account slowly by slowly I'm just uh, adding money towards it and trying to grow it as time goes on So I didn't really catch any sort of setup as today was NFP day uh, as soon as we had news, there was no real setup for me to take, no opportunity for me to take, not even on the one minute time frame. There wasn't really an opportunity. I was looking for something around this level of demand, but price never came back down. And then we formed a new level of demand, never came back down to test it. So no opportunity for the Forex market. Then I went on to NASDAQ. And as I came onto NASDAQ, we had that 830 candle push right over here. Let me just move this out of the way. This 830 candle push down here into a level of support so if i head to the four hour time frame we can see that we had a reaction before in the past off of this zone and we had it's like a level of support and resistance but it's the one that i was able to see now on the daily time frame i don't think there was much i think it was just this same thing over here level of support and resistance uh but i saw that coming to that i'm like maybe i can scalp this to the upside it's like very counter trend but uh, with my sort of um, rules and parameters, it kind of sets out nicely. So I head back to, down to the one minute time frame, And what I notice, and this is something that you would learn in my course, is just trend reversals or immediate trend reversals. If you don't know about my course, I do have a course. It's uh, down below in the description. It's my one minute super scalper strategy. But this is, I basically took my entry on this one minute time frame, So I can see that we're creating or you know, having sort of market structure shifts to the upside. And I wanted to capitalize on this move, this immediate move just up here, maybe, maybe just to grab liquidity or something. And then for the, uh, we all know like the full position is the downside, but clearly bearish, we're looking for a bearish move. But if I can ca if I can capture a, a short term trend reversal, then great, awesome. That's exactly what I did. So I saw, uh, you know, market structure shift to the upside. And guess what I see right here? A demand zone form right over here. So we basically a demand zone is just aggressive buying. We can see there's aggressive buying. We see that there's a market structure shift. And on the one minute time frame, it's also considered a break structure. We had a sort of a break structure up here. And I had my buy limit set right here with stops below the low. So it wasn't below the zone. It was below all of these lows is where I kind of had my stop loss and I was targeting this high up here. So something like this. And what happened was price came back down, tapped into it, we went up. Uh, I was kind of, you know, scared because price came all the way back down, but I held my position. I'm like, 
it, it could just come back down tap into this demand zone or take out this liquidity and then give us the move to the upside and as soon as it done that did that within one five minute candle or five like about seven minutes uh tp was smashed so you can see what happened here we had price come in tap the zone go up came back in retested that area and then we had tp smash right up here um and yeah that's basically the whole trade that i saw on uh, nasdaq i took it on the uh, mnq so the micro nasdaq right over here but it's the same thing we head down to the one minute time frame we can see that there's that sort of market structure shift to the upside this demand zone formed right over here and then we had our buy limit set here stops below the low and then we had our push price retested the area and then hit our tp the so tp was somewhere i guess up here for a one to three and a half uh but that's basically it that is the trade i hope you guys enjoyed the video as of future videos i'll probably be doing uh, just trade breakdowns like these on opportunities that i find in the markets that give you value uh but yeah it's about seven minutes in so i'll see you guys in the next video take care